वेलकम टू ऑल स्टार अकाडमी दिस थर्ड सेशन इन इंग्लिश ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वेलकम टू ऑल एस्ट्रोलॉजर्स दो सुअर jambavans yeah predominant astrologers in the indian astrological field so now i hand over the dais with uh, my respected brother dr uh, shri balu velacheri balu sir balu sir please yes sir for dais matru devo bhava pitru devo bhava आचार्य देवो भव अस्मदुरुभ्यो नट एवर वी लर्न इन दिस सेशन शुड बी यूजफुल टू अस फॉर एवर फॉर दट द एंटायर राशि मंडला ट्वेल साइंस नाइन प्लैनेट्स ट्वेंटी सेवन स्टार्स पंच भूदास लेट ऑल बी विथ अस एंड हेल्प अस टू एनरिच अवर नॉलेज इन एस्ट्रोलॉजी i welcome all the attendees here it is the third session of uh, star academy the most wanted topic in present scenario see we have attended many classes marriage matching classes we have attended it's going on everywhere i think it's the first of its kind that uh, broken marriage here we analyze about the broken marriage uh, why it is needed Yearly, see the same nine planets, twelve sides, twenty-seven uh, stars. All these things. Yearly days, the same thing. Present day also the same thing. Then where it differs? Even the same combination, yearly people they also had, but extreme adjustment was there. One and mostly women, they were there. There was no financial independence to them. they were depending on the spouse so whatever it is they adjusted they tolerated even male side also they tolerated because social responsibility was there caste responsibility and in fact they were very much worrying about the surroundings those things so whatever hardness they faced they could adjust early at this but the adjustment now it is not found on these days both side male or female both side they have some mentality they just see they move with uh, spouse for few days when it doesn't work out immediately they take the decision i don't want planet's position that plays very vital role in this had In, in fact, had they tolerated for some time, it could have been overcome. But the patience is not there. See, it's very sad to say. Very frequently, I come across such things. At least two, three in a week. See, my guru J K Sir used to say, when he started his astrology career early days, uh, he used to search for the uh, divorce horoscope. hardly he could find one or two out of 100 or 200 he used to say after some 10 15 years when he asked about the divorce horoscope he was getting few but he, he says he says with a lot of pain nowadays if i say in the class i need to analyze uh, divorce horoscopes can anyone share at least 50 60% of the class students immediately they raise the hand i have one i have it because in every family it's happening what is the reason for this uh, here to analyze everything uh, dr ramki murugan is there here i should say something about dr ramki murugan few days back some 5 6 days back sini wasan sir called me and said this port name the speaker is ramki murugan i told him that i know him for the past 30 35 years i 
from 1985 itself, I know. But we lost the contact. But we were moving very close. He was in, uh, let me say something about Mr. Dr. Ramke Murugan. Uh, his father name is Ramakrishna. Actually, his name is Murugan. His father name is uh, Ramakrishna. Mother is Sornamo. He was born in Ternal Valley, 1955, April. He started his career in uh, MNC, pharma industry, MNC, as a representative for VUS. Then he got elevated as manager. He served there for nearly nine years, I think, as manager. Then he resigned and started his own uh, show. That is, he became an entrepreneur. He did many things. Uh, he, he was very successful. Uh, for many years, because of some government policy and because of uh, many, see, almost every industrialist, they face the problem. So uh, he could not withstand that. Then he closed the show and uh, he entered the faculty. By the time he finished his MBA, doctorate, he finished that, he, fini he got his PhD also in uh, MBA. Then he was a professor. He was a he was professor uh, teaching uh, business management in many MBA schools, the most renowned colleges in India. Uh, that time he was uh, most wanted person in many colleges, and for many years he served as professor in uh, business school. And many say uh, you can name the top few business schools, and he has served there. And he was a director in many business schools also. Even in Loyola College also, he was a professor for some time. Uh, then he developed his interest in astrology. From there onwards, he is doing very well. He did his structural course, one after another. Uh, not, say, he didn't study random. He finished his structural course, one after another. Uh, is Then, finally, he decided to submit his paper. See, his intention is wherever he goes, he goes to the deep. He wants to know what is there. And he sees to that his mark is there. So even, uh, even in astrology also, he didn't stop just to be island, that's all. There he didn't stop. He took many effort to submit the paper also. He has selected the topic as uh, broken marriage. That's what his uh, topic. Broken planetary factors which determine the broken marriage and empirical analysis. This topic is selected. <laughs> he did under the guidance of Dr. Gayatri Vasudev, uh, the daughter of eminent personality Dr. B.V. Raman. Uh, recently, he submitted the thesis. He submitted, and in fact, uh, uh, he, uh, he, he did the presentation. Around 70 people attended. All uh, eminent people of ICOS, they attended. And uh, after that, even uh, Srinivasan Sar also, he attended. And after that, only he finalized. He, he was very much impressed with the topic and his presentation. So he said, uh, this week it can be fixed. And he decided, uh, that's how it's happened. Now. Like you all, I'm also very curious to know what are all the factors causing this. Uh, now the days is handed over to Dr. Ramki Murugan. Over to Ramki Murugan. Yes, I wish you all. Okay. Thank you, Babu. <coughs> yes. It's a very nice introduction you have given about me. And at this juncture, I should really thank uh, Star Academy and its founder, uh, Sri Ella Srinivasan, because it's a very rare opportunity. We just got introduced recently, <clears throat> and then he gained some confidence in me and uh, invited me to present my thesis. It's a great uh, privilege to be associated uh, with Star Academy today. So <clears throat> I also welcome those who people have joined today in this live program. So let me comment. <clears throat> Actually, what I want to share is uh, how I got interested in astrology and uh, how I did my program 
and uh, what made me otherwise what what triggered me to do the research all these things i'll share and uh, after the research what are the concluding points and you may be wondering why i should have chosen the topic uh, the broken marriages i will tell you the reason in the process anyway <clears throat> what happened was i let me start how i uh, developed interest uh, in astrology so it was so happened unlike these days uh, about 40 years back when i was early 20s uh, we were all uh, people who had uh, graduated themselves you know they had to apply for the companies or uh, a government examination they had to prepare and uh, sit for the examination and then join unlike today today actually campus interview is there now uh, people have that uh, as same those days it was not so thanks to it industry so what i actually did now um, till i got my job as usual the teenage boys or just past teenage uh, period uh, we normally you know play some cards or something like that <clears throat> so we used to play cards in our friends place uh ordinary rummy people who know the uh, rummy will uh, appreciate uh, the nuances in it <clears throat> so every time i noticed uh, about uh, uh, say at least a number of occasions not less than about uh, five to excuse me sorry <clears throat> so uh, i noticed one particular card bearing number 7 whenever the number 7 7 as or 7 club or 718 or 7 club is declared as a joker i had noticed that i you always declare it i win that game then slowly i started watching seriously before a person to cut the joker i casually joke lalu would ask hey come on please cut the joker seven i will uh, i will win it was so happened whenever the seven comes i always win the percentage percentage of winning is not less than 88 to 90% then it was so happened uh, i was uh, <clears throat> wondering why there is a uh, number seven then you would be surprised to know after <clears throat> nearly 40 years i knew the significance with related to astrology and numerology combining together uh, I, there are people who have different views uh, numerology they don't believe they believe only astrology some people very strong strong in numerology they don't bother about astrology very rare but, but that percentage but nevertheless i would say that uh, both play a major role but astrology has a, i mean i urge you over any any other thing, particularly vedic principles based astrology so uh, it went on i i got into a job and then i was preoccupied with the profession and things like that it also happened uh, uh one day i started actually noticing see i i i was because i want to really share the real experience so i used to play tennis in madurai in a club where i happened to see some vips okay and it may be please some vips i noticed uh because they celebrate the birthdays and invariably almost uh, about 60% of them they are uh, settled they are settled in second marriage and the birthday date i just noticed it falls on number 7 accidentally i noticed uh so either 7 or 16 or 25 of any month this later on i expanded it to know what exactly it is so <clears throat> then i thought okay there's some significance it was so happened one of the playing members a senior gentleman came to me after uh, uh, a game uh, shamurgan uh, this is my son's horoscope 
so please tell me when he is likely to get married. Because by that time I slowly learned astrology. There was a slight rumor that I knew astrology. It was not so, but there was a rumor among the other club members. I then casually, you know, I didn't want to uh, say that I never knew anything in astrology. At the same time, I never told I knew about astrology. But casually, I saw his horoscope and I saw the date of birth uh, fell on some number 25, I remember. And I looked at the age, he was uh, 34. Logical conclusion simply arrived and asked that gentleman, a senior gentleman, I don't want to disclose his name, but I retired as director in the agriculture department. I asked him, sir, is your son is uh, looking for a second wife. Is he uh, going for the second marriage? He was stunned. Hey, how do you say like this? I didn't disclose uh, the influence of number seven then. Simply, I said, your chart source. Then I, what I simply said, whatever knew during that time. He went on. So this is another interesting experience. Then, Later on, <clears throat> I actually left the job and floated my own company, manufacturing company in Madurai. And I, I had done my efforts the best. But unfortunately, on two occasions, I got my loan sanctioned, a very big amount, but I could not implement the project. I, was, I felt very curious. Uh, it also happened, uh, I decided, because that was the time uh, I was reading some books in numerology and astrology I never knew anything about, but I used to subscribe to astrological magazine even at that time. Uh, so suddenly one day I thought, why should I not see uh, a gentleman, the stalwart in numerology, Pandit Shed Raman in Chennai. So I had... Uh, I took the pain all the way from Madurai to meet uh, Pandit Sedh Ravan in Chennai. I met him. Uh, I explained to him, this is what, you know, I like to see, sir, how, what I should do. Should I have to change my name or some, things like that? On analyzing my horoscope, I mean, not horoscope, but he he asked, he asked actually asked me about the details and had uh, uh, found my horoscope also. I mean, I think he, he made some calculations uh, very uh, very speedily. Uh, by manually and he prepared that also and then uh, he said yes yes if you change your name based on numerology you may likely to succeed i said okay sir uh, how much i have to pay you have to pay 12000 rupees imagine 1989 uh, 1990 during january so nearly 33 years before 12,000 rupees is a big amount. And so I said, sir, I didn't bring so much money. I've come from Madurai. Can you please help me? Help me, sir. Tell me. Sir, I, let me pay right now 1,000 rupees. The balance, 11,000 rupees. I told him, logically, you, you will be able to accept, uh, I, mean, I mean, decide about me whether I will really pay or not to uh, pay. So you will know because you are a great numerologist. So I will not actually uh, disappoint you or cheat you, sir. I will sell uh, at least every month a thousand rupees for another eleven months. If if I'm lucky, I'll be able to pay in three months or four months time, sir. He very sarcastically said in Tamil, uh, "I am not selling a brinjal here. Okay, this is not negotiable." Uh, if you listen into Tamil, and it will be very uh, insulting. It was, I, I really felt very bad. Such a successful numerologist. There are people in the queue, actually. One of the producers from the Hindi world, Hindi cinema, I was waiting there in his car. His peer was sitting, uh, two or three people next to me, next to me. It was waiting. His boss, producer, is sitting in his car outside. So he casually said, look, Producer, film producer is waiting and you are demanding now uh, some concession, not, not possible. So I got very upset. I came out. I just took an auto. So I straight away went to Higgin Bottoms. I bought uh, 1,200 rupees worth of books. Imagine those days. Complete numerology books. 
I thought, okay, let me learn numerology, what it is. So I, that is how I started numerology. Then it went on. Slowly I started buying Tamil uh, uh, magazines, numerology, I mean, astrology magazines. Then it was a stage had come. I During like 2017, uh, by 2014, my wife died. I have only one daughter, so she had to get married and I got her married in 2015. So there was a little bit, uh, a kind of a depression, you know. Uh, during that time, I happened to see an advertisement. It was released by one ICAS, ICAS. Uh, the regular classes comments for Jyotish uh, Pravina at uh, Takar Baba Vidyalaya there in Tinagar Chennai. Uh, by the time I had moved to Chennai also. So I thought, okay, why should I not try? I started uh, doing my the first course in 2018. Went on well to the 2019, the second course, Jyotish. Visharatha went on. Um, both fortunately, I got 60% plus. So I became eligible to become, uh, I mean, to learn, I mean, to apply for a research. So uh, I sent a topic the influence of numerology, particularly number seven with related to marriage. But you know, ICAS uh, uh, top brass refused uh, the refused the permission. We have no syllabus uh, with regard to numerology. So uh, we cannot give you permission to do paste. Then I thought for a while, okay, we want to know <coughs> Uh, we want to know why, only what it is, actually. I'm sorry, Mr. Bolin, you are not visible. Okay, sorry. So, uh, so why change the topic? I consulted with my uh, chairman, sir, I changed the topic and uh, I think I, I want to know the failures in marriage. <coughs> Let the, the influence on numerology be a second, no problem. So he said, yes, sir, you can try it. So I changed the topic, the broken marriages, you know, the, the planetary factors uh, based on planetary factors with that determine the broken marriages uh, in the perception, perception of uh, astrology, basic astrology principles. I said it was uh, approved. Uh, accidentally, it was a great blessing that Madam Gayatri Devi was there. Uh, and may, yeah, she herself announced that she wanted to be that date. I was so delighted. It was so you know, great uh, privilege and honor to uh, be guided by Madam because I had even gone once uh, after my episode with Bandit Shred Raman. I had gone once to Bangalore to see Dr. B.B. Raman. Uh, but that time, Dr. B.V. Raman almost stopped uh, seeing consultancy, doing consultancy. So I had I had to meet uh, his son, Sachidananda Babu, and uh, he had predicted. So this is, uh, I was so, having known that Madam has become my guide, I was so happy about it and started doing it. Here, after I registered uh, for uh, uh, PhD, after attending the two programs of ICAS, I noticed that uh, very, very important area that uh, in uh, uh, regularly the teachers used to refer to Parasara Hora Shastra, particularly ICAS as, uh, gives a lot of uh, importance to uh, BPHS. And uh, there, when I happened to read that book, I had seen there are a lot of Sanskrit slogans. So I thought uh, Sanskrit slogans, I, I couldn't understand because I do not know either Hindi or Sanskrit. So I wanted to learn uh, Sanskrit. I went to a Sanskrit center and then I was given a, a number to meet a person. I went there. That the lady said, but sir, you had come late. <clears throat> so we have completed almost seven or eight classes. Uh, so what you can do, uh, you can better 
uh, go to another uh, person and she has time she can match up till what i teach and then you can uh, come later on so uh, having been directed by her i went and met uh, that uh, lady another uh, lady and there you were talking about the things went into astrology uh, and slowly I was talking about the numerology number seven impact. And she said, uh, Sir, I am also belonging to number seven, sir. I was born on such date, she said, 25th or 16th or something, she said. Then I said, Madam, uh, this is uh, something very rare. So you may be an exception. I don't know. And she said, No, sir. Uh, I have settled in my second marriage only. So it was uh, actually a revealing uh, factor for me. It also happened in one of the business schools interview for the position of director. Uh, the promoter, the founder interviewed me, he was happy and he asked me to uh, meet his wife who also happened to be the co-founders. There, uh, the discussion somehow or other, they were impressed, went on to astrology and finally the numerology. I was uh, casually sharing the number seven and she immediately said, I also was born on number seven, sir. Then I said, Madam, Madam, I'm sorry. Because remember, that's a place where I had gone for my job. And there to the promoter herself, if I say how she would like it. So I said, but it was true also. So, uh, Madam, this is not the case for 100%. There are, must be some exceptions. A research must be done on this. So you may fall into the exceptional uh, stage. And she said, no, sir, I was also born on a particular day, she said. It was stunning. So that is the reason I became very seriously involved to collect the details. So I had to fulfill the norms, the mandatory norms of ICOS. So I started actually uh, uh, doing the uh, sample collection. So actually ICOS suggests uh, samples uh, between 120 and 150 samples. Uh, I somehow or other, uh, I contacted my own people, friends and various other forums. I collected the uh, ICAS chapters, uh, chairman's uh, numbers. So I spoke to Bangalore chapter, chairman, three chairman. And uh, in uh, Hyderabad, they have two chapters in Andhra. Uh, Vishakapatnam, they have one. Uh, likewise, Mysore, we had, Shimoga, we had, in, uh, even Delhi. So I contacted everybody and I was able to collect. But it took uh, took me almost one and a half years or one year or eight months because I wanted to have more number of samples. So I collected 312 samples so far. Now, how to analyze this? So I had started sitting and thinking about uh, different parameters uh, uh, must be found. And then such parameters, along with such parameters, all these charts, 312 charts must be analyzed. So what I did, I sat down and started writing the parameters. So let me actually <clears throat> tell various parameters by which, in fact, the entire TCC uh, has been focused. See, Lagna related parameters. Now, Lagna is most important. So before analyzing any chart, everyone will know the importance of uh, Lagna. So Lagna related in Lagna related parameters, I, where is Lagna placed? Under whose constellation Lagna is traveling? Is Lagna combust? Who is along with Lagna? And uh, is Lagna in Pabakartari? Where is Lagna Dikuti in D1? And in which star constellation Lagnadipati is traveling? Where is the same Lagnadi D9? And so on. Like this for second house. Because second house, all of us will uh, be, uh, I mean, uh, aware that it belongs to family. So, so family is related. No? So I just want to know the, what, what is actually something in store for the for second house with related to broken marriages. So second lot, where is, where, second house, who is occupying? Second lot, where is he placed? In what, which constellation? Any Papa Kartari, any Parivartana. 
So like this for every param every particular set of parameters. Uh, lagnar related parameter, second house related parameters, fourth house related parameters, because that is the house of flushers, you know, and uh, seventh house, the most vital, seventh house uh, parameter, seventh lord parameters, eighth, eighth house, because Mangal Yastana, they say. So, eighth house, for, especially for female. And not uh, less than the least, but not the you. I would say the least, the most important thing is Kaltara Garaga. That is uh, Venus. Where is Venus uh, placed? In which constellation he is traveling? Who is aspecting Venus? Uh, Venus is uh, uh, a score of Ashtagavarga score. All these things. Upapatha Lakana, Murakras. All these include total 109 parameters. So 109 parameters for 312 charts, I decided to analyze. The irony is, I am not a techno savvy. I know nothing about uh, systems or software. Uh, I just, some, I know some fundamentals like email um, or some search in Google or something like that. I, I So I didn't know how to really uh, use the software program or analyze the, these kind of parameters with this number of charts. If you actually multiply 312 charts, 109 parameters, it goes beyond 30,000 uh, entry. It was so coincident, I, I actually tell the universe has sent me Maybe the stars or planet must have helped me. Uh, that must be because uh, when I started actually finding, because a lot of youngsters with IT background are there in ICAS members studying. So I just sent a request stating that uh, can you please fill up um, that, I mean, the parameters with the charts. So I used to send uh, uh, each five charts. And somebody never did it. Somebody did for one or two, then they uh, vanished. The one gentleman finished within, uh, I mean, two or three hours, and he asked me, sir, I am, I am interested. I, I am prepared to do many charts. That's all I was waiting for him. So he did it extremely. And this, uh, this occasion, I should really uh, <clears throat> express my gratitude to one Mr. Uh, Madhusudan Rao. Who had helped me in analyzing, I mean, fill, in filling all that 109 parameters for 312 charts. He had developed some kind of a system in which he was able to complete it and then started analyzing. Then slowly it went on and on. And likewise, there are other people. <clears throat> the charts, you know, we have to. Decide. Jagannath Aura is most reliable. I think many of us will agree. So I decided to go do all this chart uh, casted from um, Jagannath Aura software only. <laughs> Besides the advantage, not only technically that is very sound, the most important advantage we all have to thank uh, <coughs> BVR Narasimha Rao because it is available free of cost. Because today the software uh, sold by AstroTalk or anybody for that matter, not less than 20,000 rupees or 25,000 rupees, a recent reliable software. Well, whereas, <clears throat> Jagannath Ora, you have any permutation combinations you, you want, any astrology advance, it's good anyway. <clears throat> uh, I'm not trying to sell Jagannath Ora here, but anyway, it's a fact. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> 312 charts and uh, found some interesting aspects. Uh, so we are to, at the same time, because my guide also I guess, very categorically uh, advised that unless you have any authentic proof of uh, any factors or any, what I can say, any perception, if it is not supported by uh, Vedic astrology principles like slokas. So uh, I started collecting uh, the slokas pertaining to 7th house, 7th lord, Venus, Baba Gartari, 2nd house, 8th house, and so on. I had referred uh, nearly about uh, uh, 
about a, a nine uh, 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 I mean how do you say authors classical text authors Birgit Barasara Hora Sastra BBH is almost 70% uh, I have used in this research okay written by Santanam and Kapoor Kapoor the second uh, second volume uh, second part of it Santanam first part Saravali I did and I took also from uh, Varaha Meera Jataka Alankaram that is in Tamil written by Kiranu Nadrajan I took one or two slokas from there Tamil poems and translated into English because in Aika's medium is right now in English and recently they introduced Tamil also Jataka Parijada all this classical text Jataka Tatva Sarvada Siddhamani uh, Baladivika and the eminent astrologers, legends uh, books. Dr. B. V. Raman wrote many books. I referred uh, his books on uh, two slokas, I mean, two, uh, I mean, uh, authentic uh, evidence. And also from my own guide, uh, Madam, <coughs> she had written many books. So in one of the books, she referred very categorically about Venus and Seven Towers also. Uh, plus, uh, of course, Sanjay Rath, one of the popular uh, uh, astrology authors, and A.V. Sundaram, sir. And then recent author, uh, beautifully written from Bangalore, one is Nagaraja, who is a product of Aikas also. He had written wonderfully. So, one, on one side, all this, uh, in order to get the authentic uh, proof, shlokas based on the Vedic principles <coughs> from classical texts. On the other side, uh, legend authors, astrological authors, uh, text referred. All these put together, finally, <coughs> we started finding the result. Remember, 312 charts, <coughs> out of 312, uh, 160, 158, and uh, 144, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> females, 158. Sir, and uh, males. Water, water, water. Just show the quarters, please. Pardon? Can I go ahead? No, you proceed, sir. No problem. If you want, take. Yeah, I'll manage. I'll manage. Anything. No, I'll manage. No problem. Okay, sure. Thanks. Uh, am I visible? Yes, sir, visible. You, you okay. Visible. Because okay. academy is uh, your academy name board is coming. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, Bali is not visible. Mr. Bali is not visible. Professor, no. I'll, I'll keep going. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> uh, in this, all these people, they are not spouses to each other. They, they are individual people got divorced. Okay. Then to conclude, what are the takeaways? And because of time, <coughs> I cut short it. Very interestingly, I think how many of you will agree with me? I, what we noticed and I particularly noticed is the Sarva Gashtagorga school of first house, second house, fourth house, seventh house, eighth house, seventh house from moon, seventh lord, all these things play a dominant role. The percentage, particularly seventh house, Sarvagastra or the score, less than 28. Because Sarvagastra score, normally in practice, what astrologers do, that if the score is SAV for a particular house, 28 and above, then they take it, okay, there is not a problem, it's okay. But below 28, this is a problem, the house is weak. Some problem will come with respect to a particular house. So, the 7th house, you would be surprised, 76.9, 77% of 312 charts, the score of 7th house less than 28. Astra Urga score. 
This is what one peculiar thing I noticed. Likewise, seven thousand from who? Similar, not that percentage, but percentage uh, reduces comparatively. Number one is seven thousand aspect of the score. Then seventh lot from then seventh lot from who? And then <coughs> second dose, fourth dose. Venus. Another interesting thing is the distance between Venus and uh, Sun. If it is above beyond forty three degrees, there is a problem in marital relationship. This is what I noticed, and we put interesting um, charts and graphs and comparison analysis everything. I had narrowed down to twenty five most important parameters which. Are determining the divorces for the samples I collected. Okay, so out of these twenty-five top ten parameters, if you say, sir, the Sarvaga show a score of number seven, seventh house, seventh lot, seventh house from Moon, Venus, second house, even Lagna. Okay, but there are two schools of thought. Practicing astrologers, professional astrologers, they follow those SAV scores. Twenty-eight, uh, they they keep as a benchmark. <clears throat> But Parasara says in one of his slogans, everything I had put in the, uh, the thesis. Less than twenty-five, twenty-five, less than twenty-five, twenty-five and above, he says okay. But twenty-five and below. Is not uh, good to that particular house, so he, he, I calculated that also. That comes the percentage only forty five percent, forty four point eight, forty five percent. But if you have the score of twenty eight as a benchmark, the score is I mean the uh, the rate is seventy seven percentage. Okay, see, I'm um, out of three hundred and twelve chart seventy seven percentage. Imagine uh, nearly two hundred and forty horoscopes have. Less than SAV twenty eight for their seven dogs. This is topmost in my research. I found it. Then I with other parameters which has, I mean, forty percent, thirty five percent, thirty percent. So I have actually concluded percentage of horoscopes uh, more than twenty five percent. That is more than seventy five horoscopes of three hundred twelve. I have considered as an important parameters that I have listed, and out of this top ten parameters, I have listed this. This is what I have concluded <laughs> uh, in my thesis, and very interestingly, I didn't leave uh, my particular passion of knowing seven, but that particular seven actually I I I, I should not actually discuss with ICOS because it is not in our syllabus. So, but I got the record separately. In future research, if at all, I am. Blessed to go for uh, some more research in astrology. I would like to use this such uh, data. Where what I noticed in the seven, <clears throat> I said earlier, people born number seven they get uh, settled down only the second marriage. In other words, they become divorces. But what I noticed here, out of three hundred twelve charts, seventy five, seventy six to be exact. They were born in number seven. Okay, that comes to a percentage uh, not less than twenty percent. Now these people, twenty percent of the people, seventy six percent, seventy six persons born in number seven get divorced out of three hundred twelve. So twenty eight percent. In other words, one out of four. We will take it that way. Now. I had I had gone to research further in this area. People, uh, I mean, seven people born at number seven. M, for example, I you know I took uh, people born at number ten. I mean, number seven, ten people. I noticed six people get divorced. In other words, two third. Okay. Uh, it, it, because I cannot explain here with my close relatives, I happen to see surprisingly. So what I concluded, I have statistics for that. Uh, to say that 
if see i don't say that people born on number 7 all are getting divorced no i don't say that statement what i say people if they born on number 7 66% to be exact they get divorced there are people who are not divorced despite being born on number 7 is because their seventh houses our seventh lord our venus our eighth house they are doubly strong so this actually one of our uh, national vice presidents uh, suggested me this i did not discuss with him but he suggested me during the process of uh, uh, my research <clears throat> he suggested me okay uh, dr murugan you were uh, doing this research fine uh, why don't you do with people who are already married take some samples and find out at least 10 or 15 people will collect and see whether your findings are matching with them or not i thought it is a very wonderful uh, suggestion so i collected 30 couple 60 individual spouses to each other those who are married more than 30 years plus successfully they are leading even now okay so such people horoscope i collected analyzed very interestingly i wanted to find out the the top 10 parameters in that first let us take the first parameter sarvaga stroga score of 7th house if spouse male sav score is 7000 is less than 28 but the wife sav 7000 phenomenally good it goes to 29 30 31 okay almost out of uh, 76 people uh, out of this 76 people who got divorced and born in number 7 i mean sorry i i am talking about this married couple yes so this married couple horoscopes i saw the parameters which i concluded is working very good uh, with the people who are married it is Uh, the concluding factors or parameters which i had noticed are found is very well taken care of in these successfully married couples horoscopes so that is very interesting for example you may ask is that uh, so that uh, supposing both the spouse sav score is less than 28 will it not be there yes it does i noticed but if you see I, wa- I want to know what is the reason that despite the number seven and the Sarvaga Astro score is less, they are successfully happily married thirty years plus on. Their seventh lord, their Astro score is very powerful. Seventh lord is the dignity of seventh lord, excellent. And uh, for one or two couple, the Venus is excellently supporting. So. <coughs> what i would actually wanted to conclude to uh, the future practicing astrologers is <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> this is actually i had some problem <coughs> is that uh, when we analyze a horoscope whose uh, Seven thousand week. We have to find. <laughs> so seven thousand. Relaxed person. I'm relaxed, but the uh, smiling nose is there. Anyway, thank you. Okay, you relax for some time. I just tell the. Oh, okay. okay. Sure. Actually, the interesting point. It was very nice. Uh, that is number seven plays vital role in separation. that's what he says one second thing he also says yet another thing that it may not be the predominant role because uh, he has also seen many cases born in seven but still lead a very beautiful happy life very consensual life so seven plays vital role provide if the seventh house savastha varga is very very less than the benchmark the benchmark he sets as 28 but in some books even they set as 25 okay that's what right 
right yeah now, yeah yeah actually other books they say it is 25 but actually he says it is 28 so now you can say if the person is born seven and sarvastaka varga is also very poor he is vulnerable to get separation provided spouse horoscope is very supportive may really escape from that you are right, right. Yeah. So, but let us not actually... Let me say one more thing. Yeah. Uh, actually, people are very curious to know about the planetary position. If you explain that, that will be very useful. The planetary positions, uh, in fact, I am talking about the 7th house, 2nd you know, house, 4th house, Venus. All these things, the dignities are very important. Particularly 7th house, 7th lot, and more so from 7th uh, house from moon. And the 7th lot from moon. This point particularly raised by my great daughter, Gayatri uh, Devas. Uh, so, this is a plan. As far as the divorce case is concerned, the planetary positions of particularly Lagna, second house, fourth house, seventh house, uh, seventh house from moon, plus eighth house. And also the distance between uh, Sun and Venus. This play a role. And uh, Upapaza Lagna position, that dignity must be. These are the planetary factors which major reasons to cause uh, uh, marital uh, discard. Okay, so this is a conclusion. But uh, this this is actually uh, with regard to number seven and numerology. This is my personal uh, interest. I went ahead. This is not actually appreciated by ICAS. That is my personal. I just wanted to share because I strongly believe it has a many role. And supposing now people who are uh, joining the Zoom meeting, uh, if they have any divorced uh, or charts in, with them, just find out the number, date, uh, date, either date alone, the birth number they say, or date, month, year, total, some total comes seven. Okay. So maybe the percentage will be more. If we have, for example, uh, 20 horoscopes uh, who are all divorced, and if you want to see, uh, not less than about 25 percent. Five people would have been born on number seven. Okay. Yeah, do you have any other vital important planetary position to say? See, Sarvastha Gavarga, you said. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Other than this, Digni any, dignity of seven thousand. That's all I said. This planet, this planet has caused this. This combination has caused this. No. He, the, he has this planet, and she has this planet. Ah. Both have joined together, and they have exit a new. Effect. Can no, I, actually, no, it is not so. Uh, I I cannot say that a specific parent because seventh house, seventh lord, that play a major role. Every house has uh, got its own plus and minuses, but more so the dignity of seventh house, dignity of seventh lord, the dignity of seventh house from moon, Ashagavarka, plus uh, of, of course Ubapada uh, Lagna. The distance between Sun and Venus. These are all the major uh, contributors uh, to divorces. So, for example, if any person, uh, I have made up my mind, supposing a person is coming, because in, I have seen many people, uh, if, if they get divorced, uh, I happen to see a person and divorced, I ask for the number, they say, and invariably it tallies. And I have made up, what is, a, what is a suggestion I would like to give people who come for a uh, starting with guidance, uh, even people born on number seven will they only need not to get into panic. They have to see the seven thousand dignity in that particular person's horoscope. Enough. But uh, well, I after concluding uh, before I mean uh, uh, um, the before conclusion, I want to touch, touch upon because there are some questions related to any remedial measures. Parigaram in Tamil we call it. But uh, Parashara Aura Sastra, uh, the translated version, the last para of the entire book, had very categorically mentioned that Brahma has uh, uh, advised or cautioned that all the planets must listen to people who appease them. This is the only remedial measure according to the book, Parashara. So perhaps that is what we, I, as far as I am concerned, I also would like to suggest, particular if uh, uh, on analysis, if you happen to see a particular plant is weak, 
and that particular weaker planet is actually causing trouble to the particular native then we always say that see that particular planet's lord or anybody appease them pray pray to them that's all now no other uh, remedy measure uh, will be an uh, i mean answer to uh, any uh, bad comings okay so this is all i have done and uh, i am uh, physically i meant to submit the things the presentation was permitted and i did it so of course now the floor is yours if any questions okay. you have i don't uh, mind yeah, before the closure i would like to ask a few more things uh, what are all the prominence of the seventh lord where it has to be what is the auspicious position what is the malefic position how it has to be we noticed Because yes we noticed uh, the placement particularly uh, in the mars houses okay very interesting and this actually luckily asked me the placement of uh, some planets it was more so rahu kedu damages kedu particularly mind you kedu belongs to numerology number 7 yeah. that's uh, that's a uh, 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 something different deviating but kedu rahu saturn mars these are major pl planets if placed in the seventh house more vulnerable the native will have to go for divorce unless that particular house is uh, aspected by jupiter or venus or in the in the good constellation they escape or the placement in avamsa is good yes they escape so i think the seventh house must be seen with this uh, people in this planets anything about the lagna lord particularly i didn't see because lagna is very east, uh, very evenly spread there is no specific lagna but trishunya rashi is more with the leo lagna that i noticed okay 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 anything else to Say about this. Can you elaborate a little more about Rahu Kedu or any other malefic planet in this? No. Uh, any uniformity in the three hundred charts you collected? No, no. Actually, uh, percentage wise, I am able to see the slides. Uh, percentage wise, uh, that stands uh, top among the planets. Rahu Kedu Saturn plays major role, and it is more so with the combinations. at least if one planet mars or uh, rahu doesn't uh, do many havoc but if the saturn uh, rahu or kedu or mars put together two or three planets malefic planets it damages the houses okay with your permission can i add a few more points yeah see one thing uh, we should be very careful you have got some three and that charts you note down these points you please check out definitely it should be there like if lagna lord is in 11th house or 11th lord is in lagna that ensures two marriages yeah it is there i think there is a sloga is there i think yeah yeah you check this okay but it yeah. is not so in the 312 charts it is not yeah. so yeah you check this you check this that's what i say no in the, in the in the analysis part of it Uh, mm -hmm. it has discussed uh, mm -hmm. if it had been very uh, very uh, i mean more more number of people it would have come to my our notice uh, mm -hmm. i mean that uh, i mean it was there but not predominant okay even that could be one reason if it is not then there could be some other reason because there are yeah. many reasons yes are. yes yes many more reasons if ketu is in between uh, sun and venus particularly if ketu is proceeding towards venus that gives separation i see okay you said if the distance is above 45 degree that will cause disinterest okay first of all they will not be interested in getting married at all because of pressure they may say yes but uh, eventually they will not settle down one uh, mars and mercury as they are very close to each other that gives disinterest because during college days itself they fall in love even it may be one sided love that will be very strong in their mind 
if they get married as per their choice even if they are not in love relationship no, if, if we have authentic sources on its own if as per their interest they will be leading a very beautiful excellent life however hard the husband is the wife will adjust but if it happens on parents compulsion anybody else compulsion uh, they will not mingle in the marital life there are many more things are there okay and it's uh, anyway it is quite interesting that you have completely analyzed with uh, seventh house uh, ashtagava ashtagarga no. vastagarga and uh, seventh lord the seventh house from moon all these things it's different uh, good perception okay uh, anything else to you you need to add or we can go for krishna no i would like to add only one point what you had uh, now shared your uh, i mean uh, experience uh, that's a uh, good and appreciable but the uh, thing is what if one has to under, accept our anybody's view i think it must be authenticated with the uh, classical text shlokas or anything so if it is available nobody can dispute us basically i i don't say i don't discount the experience but nevertheless it must be supported by text i mean classical texts that's the thing yeah it's that's very all. nice thank you thank you mr balu it's a really, really very good session uh, i request the participants to ask their doubts questions any yes you please raise the hand and you can ask the question Yes, sir. Uh, Madhav Chaturvedi, sir. Okay. Yes, very good afternoon, Mr. Uh, Madhav. Good afternoon, sir. But I, I like a thought that you did so much uh, of a research, three hundred and twelve charts, and all this. But I have an interest in numerology, and uh, I belong to number seven. Oh, uh, oh. My birthday was <laughs> on the sixteenth February, two days back. So, but uh, this uh, like what kind of like results it will show? I like till now there is no such result. But uh, maybe I can like I will like to learn about numerology. So you said you purchase many books. Which which book do you think that for numerology is the best one as per your experience? Kero. क्वेश्चन I forgot to add one more important question. I mean, you important point with respect to number seven. That is, not only divorce, but also the seven point people either they don't get married or they get married very late. Some marital problems they encounter, but again, I don't say all sixty six percentage, two thirds they they get uh, I mean get into problems. So I need to check the stuck work position also now. Yeah, you have to okay. now see that if it is there. Supposing when you would when you decide to marry, see that the spouse seven thousand is strong enough with the SAB score and other Uba Pada lagna and things like that. I'll share the entire uh, uh, conclusion points after officially. I I mean my thesis is announced uh, for the award. Then I can share it openly. Okay. Thank you. So Balu sir has said, uh, like mentioned three points: Lagna, Lord in eleven thousand, Mars, Mercury, and one K two combination also. So that I missed. Balu sir, can you tell me that what was your K two combination you were mentioning? Oh, what did you ask? I couldn't hear it properly. Yeah, Balu sir, Lagna, Lord in seven eleven thousand. Okay, Lagna, Lord in seven thousand. And uh, you mentioned Lagna Lord in eleventh house also, right? Yes, eleventh house. Okay, Mars Mercury combination you mentioned. 
and one ketu men ketu combination you mentioned i have just missed it right yeah ketu in between sun and venus that we can have separately we can say okay. that one no. day separately it is not wrong kim in class we can ask all the doubts pertaining to not wrong kim in class thank okay. you yes thank you mr madam thank you sir thank you. yes yes sir ஒரு <laughs> percentage why is the yeah, that is the lagna here that is the lagna here i cannot i cannot show ah, because that is what i think balu sir also asked so what exactly because that is what uh, i mean i joined this meeting yes, because i thought yes. i'll have some yes. take away from there no See, very is, recently uh, he submitted the papers okay okay because we, of the data confidence yes, yeah. at this stage yeah, yes, okay. Yes, okay okay fine yeah. fine okay thank you sir i'm permitted okay. to yes, share yes. what i found and things like that but the process and methodology i am still restrained from sharing it because uh, after the award is done then i can disclose no fantastic problem. sir no no problem sir i think we will have uh, we are looking forward to our next lecture then yeah thank you, thank you thank so much you. thank, thank you. you bye bye yeah i i i could see your mr somber sir yeah uh, can i go sir sir very good afternoon yeah. i am so good delighted afternoon. to see you i am so yeah. delighted to see you because okay. every day every day actually you are uh, sharing in the uh, telegram channel oh my god terrific and uh, you are so humble uh, you did accept my appreciation also anyway thanks for coming yes sir yeah good afternoon pleasure meeting you sir and um, first of all thanks a lot for the appreciation um i have couple of questions yes uh, the first one i want to ask is like in statistics people say that causation uh, is more important than correlation right so correlation doesn't lead to the causation so when you say that in the sarvashtaka vargas uh, from uh, say venus the seventh house or from the moon seventh house and so on um so what could be the possible causation for that right because sarvashtaka varga is normally a combination of multiple factors coming together so it's very difficult to line, uh, delineate from this like whether it is because of the seventh lord not giving enough uh, say rays to that particular yeah. house or it's because of venus not giving a certain uh, points to that house and so on right so have you looked at the individual um, say binnashtaka varga to understand whether it is because of the seventh lord not giving enough points there or it's because of venus's binnashtaka varga there is not enough points there very good question you asked i forgot to add this point pinnaga ashtagoya score also i saw okay there major role is played by venus okay or seventh lord okay sometimes lagna lagna dipadi itself but it is evenly spread okay i was not able to pinpoint this scores more most no evenly i say about 25 to 30 out of 312 10% to 12% or maximum 14% so i have taken parameters which are useful or which have been seen more than 20% okay but i have uh, a list of parameters which have negligible impact this comes under negligible impact scoring about 14 14% maximum binnagashtha varga score is important in that way so can we can we say that the combination of seventh lord plus venus put together if it is less then can it be uh, the cause for it, it is less practice? see it is see the divorce is taking place not by one singular element not by singular planet single planet it is a combination includes of many factors <clears throat> as i said natural malefics or seventh lord or distance between the venus and many factors okay. among the many factors which play a dominant role only such data i have 
conclude i have used for conclusion okay so the it, or whatever you say then some percentage is there okay okay i cannot say kill the alone rao we don't sat in alone the distance long distance between sun and venus this is the cause no but most contributing factors more mm -hmm. than 25 percent Saroga has a score of seventh house, seventh lord, eighth house, second house, fourth house, lagna, fall. That I have taken. Okay, okay. And and um, one more question I wanted to ask is about uh, Upapada lagna, uh, because uh, even uh, Pandit Sanjay Rath has spoken about it as well as it is there in uh, say Jaimini Supadeso Sutras. Um, if benefits are there in the twelfth house of Upapada Lagna, marriage happens much faster. But if there are malefics in oh. either in the second or eighth or in seven from Upapada Lagna, then the marriage life gets into difficulties. So, have you seen any indication of that from a Upapada Lagna perspective? Yes, yes. Second, sorry, <coughs> sorry, uh, my I have a very very bad. No story. Second dose from Upapada Lagna played a major, major role. Uh, so uh, that are details I have given because this comes to percentage not less than thirty-five to forty percent. Okay. The I mean uh, week second by second dose from Upapada. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I forgot to add one more gentleman, Dr. K. V. Krishnan. Thanks, you asked me question because he explained to me about the Upapada Lagna in details. He is my mentor in my research. He is a senior gentleman, about seventy-five years, very good uh, scholar in Sanskrit, and uh, he has been awarded a PhD in uh, Vedic. Uh, I mean, in Sanskrit itself, he is writing a book in Sanskrit. He is uh, highly knowledgeable in astrology also. So fortunately, again, I I, I thank you know how Madhav has become great to me. Likewise, uh, this gentleman had come uh, to help me uh, voluntarily. So he had only indicated take Upapada Lagna and say I mean significance. So then again, I searched for the slokas. It was available. <clears throat> I took it, and then we probed into it and found this has an impact not less than thirty to forty percent, thirty to thirty five percent. Yes. Second dose from Upapada. Uh, that is, you are looking at malefics. Am I am I right? Ah uh, yes yes yes. No, no, I I did I did not look for specific malefics alone. Okay. <clears throat> you looked at the Sarvastika Varga aspects. Uh, no aspects, aspects okay. of aspects of various malefic planets on Upapada. Second dose okay. from Upapada. Okay. 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 And similarly. The second house of Upapada Lagna, and it's a savvy. Mm. That also noticed. Okay. So that plays a role. Another interesting point I forgot again. Uh, with respect to Mandi, Mandi, you know, I, I went to an extent to buy to buy a book. In fact, Lord Venkatram Iyer had written a book in Mandi about Mandi. I bought that book because after this research. Mahdi's influence is also there. It uh, it goes about twenty eight to I mean twenty five to twenty eight percentage. Remember the the he discussed uh, elaborately the Mahdi aspecting um, second house, twelfth house, and also first house. First, second, and twelfth house. So Mahdi aspect is more dangerous than even the placement of Mahdi. But since it has not gone beyond twenty-five percent, I did not take it into conclusion. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thanks a lot, sir. If possible, you can share your thesis. It will be very useful for all of yeah, us. Yeah, I will. I will. I will share it after once it is officially announced yeah. for the award. Then I will share it. Yeah. Thanks a lot, and you have done a wonderful job of looking at real evidence to conclude. Right. Normally, yeah. astrologers we make uh, we see few charts and make up the rule. But you have really proven with the real. Thanks to Icos. Thanks to Icos. Without any cl classical text reference, no factors will be accepted in Icos. That is what I learned from the seniors uh, in Icos. 
Yeah. Congratulations once again to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Sonsi. Thank you. I'm very happy to see you here. Thank you. After uh, Ramki, sir, rewarded, uh, we must conduct another session with his uh, wide presentation. And if possible, you can also share the slogans you said. Yes. I was sure. one of the participant in that session. Yeah. Very fantastic. I am uh, really very happy about his session. I, I go to there with my spouse. So she is also highly happy uh, about his presentation, how it presentation, how we going to research all these three, 12 charts. Those uh, nearly it's going on uh, four, four hours. So it's a, so Star Academy awaiting once again you, sir. Sure, sir. Sure, sure. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you, Sam sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, next, uh, Balu, sir. Uh, Kali. Yes. Yeah, three more people are uh, waiting. Yes. Yeah, Mr. Shanmugam. Hello. Vanakkan, yeah. sir. Shanmugam. Yes. Uh, can I have the Sun Moon Sona, Tamil Nadu Tell me, sir. Nineteen ninety, I cast number none. Okay, sir. Oh, I think that I cast the publications in area of Padichirka. Sir, in the uh, related to the case, the seven number seven, Sona Lingla, the seven number like Yar, Perandanglo, Aladavan, the Yar, one day, Piruman and Tinganglo, marriage for them. Angry thought when the mostly Yadi Badi Yatra Pandar Banda. Only second thing one day, seventh Lade, Badga di Panoda, Linka Irkum, seventh Lade, Mandi and in the Sana di Panoda, Linka Irkum, seventh Lade, Rag Kaze in the Sana di Verloda, Linka Irkum, Adilame in the Pitu Dosser Kilinga, Pitu Dosser Maria Kongata. The pictures of the Kuranga family, Lang Apa Kunduay and Ganjukunda Verde, another Astrum Silverde, Dominican Verde, Natural Death, Ula Dominican Verde, the Ella Vanda and the Zilavaranga. Upon the one day, mostly on the Mandi Sonar Linga, Mandi Nindra Natchatter Adibanodiga, Mule Pirigona Rathila, Ronda Fixon. As a seventh of the month, Kandiba wants to get the Lena, there was no Maya Rock for you. And the Maria Lamp and the Lakur. Apa, Anga, Sariana, and the Edom, Panana, and the Edom, Unukuna, Tirivan, and Tunda, there is failure. Upper on the Sukar and Akum, the Ningla Soninga, Sukar and Akum, and the Rendakum, Rapid and Kadalavande, Sukar and Apathe, Kadu Panal, and the Maria Agrade, the Ella on the end of the year. I am going to say that 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 I Shanmugam, uh, 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 no like May cause separation. What are all the things that Ramki Murugan said? He little more, he, he slightly he elaborated this, that the seventh Lord will be with the Kedu or in the malefic house or in a, with any malefic planet. Okay. These are all the things he said, and he also said a few more things about he appreciated the people from my cause. That's what I can say. Okay. Now we can go to the next question. Lakshmi, Lakshmi is there. Namaskar, sir. Ingle Pesa, the Tamil Pesu, right? Sir Namaskar, Basina, sir. Eleven Namaskar. Sir, not to the Kerala. 
சோ நீங்க அஷ்டவர்கன் சொன்னார் அந்த மெயில் இதுல அவர் சூரியனை விட்டு போயிட்டாரே சார் மெயில் பிக் பிளானட்ஸ்ல சூரியனோட இதுவும் கூட நமக்கு பார்வையும் தோஷம் போஸ்ட் வேணாலும் தோஷம் சொல்றா இல்லையா சூரியனும் கூட எடுத்துக்கலாமா நம்ம செவன்த் பாவத்தை பார்க்கவோ இல்ல இருந்தா செவன்த்ல போஸ்ட் ஏதாவது சூரியன் கூட ஒரு என்ன சொல்றது பிரிவு ஏற்படுத்தும் சொல்றாளே சரியா சார் கேக்குறதா சார் ஒரே <laughs> 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 If sun is in uh, if, if sun eighth round also what will be it is if sun is in eighth round also what will be the effect okay. um the aspect in our you are asking me no madam you are asking me if sun is placed in eighth house does it have any role no sir if sun is aspecting seventh round if it, okay if there will be a the, um, uh, ah yes yeah ah uh, madam oh. yeah yeah madam you are saying our conjunct conjuncting means yes. it is astanga astanga not astanga mm. sun's aspect yeah. sun's aspect or mars aspect mm. if it is a eighth lot for female eighth also is very important mm. Ma- mars from mesha in uh, orbit ya mm. so uh, he is he has its own he is in its own house and has its power so he is madam uh, actually today class he completely explained about the uh, sarvashtaka varga seventh uh, sarvashtaka points ah uh, sir it's a post in uh, it's also i am asking whether it is aspecting also is important influence post he will describe aspecting like, see, regarding planet and other things we can have on separate full day discussion okay okay, okay. Uh, but many more points to say பாசிபிள் because and we should also see what position sun has got which lord it is be any malefic lord no particular lord if sun is also a malefic lord i am just to clarify for magara lagna you can say sun may give disturbance oh okay other lord other lagna it is not impact so accordingly you will have to see okay okay sir okay sir so uh, sir you told um, if the lagna lord is seen second lord is in 11th uh, there will be separation and second marriage um, uh, but uh, i have seen a horoscope like the second lord is in 11th vrichiga magara lagna but there was no de- um, uh, separation or second marriage but there is lagna lord as seven, uh, second lord second lord second lord in 11th second lord i didn't say uh, lagna lord only lagna lord oh, lagna lord, lord is, second lord sir magara lagna lagna, lagna lord is in 11th house If please yes, if you sir. understand the point very clearly yes sir magara lagna lagna lord is seventh lord seventh lord saturn is bichiga but there is no uh, aspect for uh, uh, jupiter or sutra venus or jupiter or venus but there is no separation or there is See, they are vulnerable i don't say 100% this okay. will happen okay sir okay See, sir. i always say one thing okay, you should sir. give some, i always give some disclaimer okay sir that okay. is no male um, be- beneficiary aspect of oh, 70% you can say you check with any available chart all the diverse chart you take okay sir okay sir mostly la- lagna lord will be in the 11th house and there could be many more reasons okay sir thank you much thank and it is one reason it is a curiosity because we have to learn from you um, uh, prospective people more yeah. um, uh, that's why i am asking so okay. no no nothing uh, okay. okay so next the and one more thing i say very clearly it's not from textbook it is not, i don't refer many 
books and all. What are all the things I say that is tested and verified? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Just to learn from you, I am asking, sir. Okay, sir. Thank, you. thank you. Namaskar, sir. Namaskar. Right. Okay. Uh, next, Dakshina Murthy, sir. Please. Hello. Thank you, Morgan. Hello. Yes, sir. Dakshina Murthy here, sir. Can I hear, sir? Yes. Oh, yes, yes, sir. sir. Actually. Yes, sir, actually, my question is, is the combination or the connectivity of the three planets, that is, uh, uh, what you call the Mars and Raghu, as well as the Saturn, that is also the reason for the marriage uh, broken is concerned. That is my, my first question. And the uh, second question is, there are some people telling that even if the Rasi and Lagna are in the even uh, even uh, even source that is two four six uh, eight and ten that is also the cause for the marriage broken is concerned i want some clarification beyond that that's why i just asked this question the first two point you asked about the combination of malefic planets yes sir and that will definitely play vital role based on the house where it is okay okay that's very very important if it is in the second house definitely that will give some disturbance the puzzle okay. itself is will be very very hard. Oh yeah, really irritated that person. Doesn't mind to anyone. If he gets provoked, he beats anyone. He doesn't hesitate. Whether it is mother or father, he doesn't mind about that. Immediately he will raise his hand. If he if he gets. They are Hello. I mean, I don't know. know. Ah, right, sir, right, sir. There is some problem. Network problem. Yes. Okay. Okay. No problem. So the malefic planets definitely they play vital role. One and second thing, two, four, seven, eight, and all. Based on the lagna, based on other things, you can change. Okay. 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 So okay. Generally, they, people say uh, uh, mangal no, dosh. No, I want to add only one point. It is not only single planet. Uh, sorry, it is not only single planet which causes the damage. It is a combination of planets and factors. Oh, most important. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay any other question? Uh, Are you clear? Uh, you have some question. Uh, Are you clear? Rama Subramanian, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, uh, yes, yes, sir. Namaskar. Good afternoon, good afternoon, sir. Due to my throat problem, I will try to convey my question. Uh, Ramki sir, today he has discussed uh, that is centered about only the seventh places, that is seventh number and a seventh place. He is talking about seventh lord, a uh, planet sitting in the seventh bow and uh, aspecting seventh place, like this, that he is talking about only the separation. That is delayed marriage after divorce are not getting the marriage. Here my question is, in such a case, that is you are, if you are receiving a horoscope, that seventh place is in a malevic position, that is not to give marriage or divorce or uh, delayed marriage likewise, then what will be your suggestion for matching a better horoscope? Yes. I will get you good thing for that. A good question, sir. Uh, uh, to this, I would say, Mr. Ram uh, besides our fundamental approach based on Vedic principles, look at the seventh house dignity, Venus dignity, particularly space, uh, I mean, spouse, if it is a female spouse, then find out the strength of Mangalya Sthana. These are all fundamental Vedic astrology principles based. Besides that, that is now in my research because of that, I would say personally, if such horoscopes is coming to me, I would see what is the score of SAV. Because SAV has a major role to play. So what is the strength of SAV of the 7th house of the spouse? If it is stronger than the particular native whose horoscope is being analyzed, then I think we can recommend. And of course, other parameters, regular parameters, uh, when you normally see for matching horoscopes, 
still if you are not convinced look for the uh, uh, ashtagarga score of all this particular eight ashtagarga scores okay this is what yeah, i want to ask i am talking apart from the end because we can already you have done it they can be it's already balu sir said three seven eleven these are all called kama trikon oh. so, the places also uh, having very importance for marriage match match making so all the three places if it is get, getting denied then there will be no marriage or delayed marriage or marriage may that uh, divorce uh, will also happen this is applicable for both men as well as ladies so this 3711 it is a very important point so in your research did you have done research on 3 and 11 on the uh, house also whether you have done it see i did not actually see who is placed uh, in the third house or who is placed in eleventh house no i just saw how where is mars is placed in all the three hundred and charts where is saturn is placed in all the three hundred and charts likewise i have taken it and then i clubbed it in which house a uh, more number of planets are placed so this analysis is go like this i did not actually go into 3711 particularly in the divorce cases of 312 i have seen the predominant factor is sab your factor may also appear the percentage would be less in my in my analysis okay sir because it's a very big subject if we are going on talking about this the further more time is required because now we are days a uh, hundred percent in hundred percent uh, around some sixty percent marriages going in divorce because of this three seven and eleven is not in a good position. Okay. Because you already you are aware that third place it is talking about vehicle and seventh place is talking about the pleasure and eleventh place is uh, we can say that is also. Entered around the pleasure as well as twelfth bow. Also, we have to take because it is talking about the bed pleasure. So these are all the points also to be considered today's marriages. Because youngsters they are not able to reveal some of the facts why they are deciding for the divorce. So I think this three seven eleven is very important, and to come out from those issue. We have to give you some solution. If these places are getting denied the marriage, then we have to move with some solution. Then how they will can get a good marriage? Because I had fifty years back, they can say "pulla naalum porshan, pulla naalum porshan," like that they compromise themselves. But these days, it is not like that. immediately they are taking a decision so we have to give some counseling on that issue and we have to come out the solutions so now you have given in your research scholar that's why i wanted to know whether remedial measure also you have suggested or not i have said you know remedial measure is nothing but to appease the planets which an astrologer finds very very with the low dignity or causing damage to the native such planets must be worshiped that's simple as that even parasara says not more than that okay if mars is actually playing a havoc in a horoscope you have to please mars mars if rahu is uh, doing a, a very very damaging job you have to please rahu that is the only remedy as per the text classical text there are other things people follow but as far as research is concerned we have to give supportive uh, i mean document or supporting evidence so nothing but shlokas rishish shlokas we cannot actually take support other than that so even for uh, you say 3 7 and 11 yes maybe it, it plays a role based on your experience knowledge fine do you have any authentic textbooks 
evidence. If it is so, then we can take it as uh, one of the kind of rules. Yes, it is possible because without a proper classical evidence, it is very hard to impress the astrological world. This is my humble opinion. Yes. Okay, any other question? Okay, now it's a time to come to conclusion. Okay, sir. Bar One more person has raised the hand. Dakshina Murthy. Dakshina Murthy. Many people, sir, is there. Um, Stalwart is there. My senior high class gentleman. He had already given presentation. <laughs> Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, now, Ketan, I am... I heard all your uh, views and I'm very much impressed about the way in which you have taken the research. But my fundamental doubt is normally Ketu, Pulasya Ketu, it is said in Jaimini, is Ketu is really responsible for the broken marriage? It's a question point because in many forums in ICAS, it has been told uh, that Ketu may not spoil the family affairs because he is interested for continuation of the uh, progeny and uh, uh, family. So uh, fundamentally, we must substantiate so, the importance of Ketu in the broken marriage. That's that is uh, true, sir. fundamental doubt I have. Sir, uh, you are a stalwart. I am uh, uh, I am like a lily put among the Gulliver. Okay, what I mean to say, <clears throat> Kedu gives blockages. It gives obstacles. Kedu, if Rahu and Kedu acts or behaves according to the place where they are placed, fine. If Kedu is placed in Venus, Venus house, uh, then it will play like Venus, you know, everyone will agree in that way. What I mean to say here, what I noticed here is that the, the Malvik planets such as Saturn, Kedu, Raghu, uh, Mars play major role in, uh, in, in actually preventing harmony among the married couple. That's all. But which planets exactly cost he has to be analyzed individual horoscope. Uh, but overall, the 300 plus samples, I can only bring down to a maximum number of percentages. So with that level only, I brought it. But if you ask me personally, as an outside member of ICAS, I would say, Kedu, according to numerology, number is given 7. So, my uh, the research is actually, if I am permitted to do research combining numerology and astrology Vedic astrology principles, based on Vedic astrology principles. I would like to know <clears throat> why seven people, people born a number seven, 60 out of 66 percentage of 100, they get into divorce. Uh, KV is attached to number seven. So I will like to analyze Kedu's role in the ma marriage disharmony exclusively. That is a little different issue. Then we will come to know Further about Kedu, if Kedu is causing a damage in marriage, in which constellation if it is placed, in which house if it is placed, in which aspect does it get and then affect, and what is the score of that placement of that house of Kedu, all these things then we can arrive at a conclusion. If Kedu is taken into consideration, then we can arrive at it. But nevertheless, I would say, among all the planets, Kedu brings obstacles in the marriage. The obstacle may be a divorce, the obstacle may be a delayed marriage, but it does not affect, as you said, it gives actually progeny, as you said. It doesn't affect that person without any marriage, very, very rare, unless other parameters, other plant recombinations, influence are there. But Kedu has a major role to play. That has to be researched and proved. True, sir. I agree with you. And one, one more thing. But all along you were telling about the Rasi chart. What about the Navamsa? Because Navamsa I discussed, I part discussed. For marriage. We discussed completely. The entire thesis is completely discussed. Because I added one parameter, no? 
where is seventh house lord placed in d9 where is second house lord placed in d9 where is uh, venus is placed in d9 all these things are considered it is there it is there in my research for all the 312 charts for all these parameters analyzed to the d9 chart also i agree with you sir and uh, one lady has uh, asked one pertinent question about the role of uh, sun yeah broken marriage actually seventh sun seven uh, sun means it is a, a separative planet invariably it is agreed in many forum the sun and uh, mercury in the seventh place in the rashi chart may give may hamper the marital happiness and uh, especially sun you know he is very much obsessed with uh, uh, suppose seventh place sun is there if a lady is there he wants to she wants uh, her husband to behave as a father and uh, if uh, sun is there uh, uh, in the seventh for a male horoscope he wants uh, uh, the character of uh, Uh, mother should be reflected in the uh, wife so is it true or uh, is no, that that research i did not do but sun sun is one of the major causes among the other malvi planets okay distance between sun and venus play a major role that, ah, that is the presentation more than 43 degrees and above more than 43 degrees not exactly beyond 43 degrees beyond only have Okay, it may go only up to forty-seven. Is it at maximum forty-six to forty-seven? Forty-seven. Forty-seven is the maximum. Forty-seven point three. Okay, sir. So very well. I am very glad that you had an excellent research, sir. Wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You did not come on that day. I have invited you personally. Very good, sir. No, I had a personal thing. My okay. granddaughter from VAT came to my okay. house. Okay. So I had to. Okay, in fact, I was the first person to. Yes, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. You had agreed that you would come. Yeah, yeah. I could not see you there. Okay. Uh, no suddenly, she she came and I had to be with okay. her. Okay. No, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Right. Yes. And one more question, just one. Mr. Rajamani is there. Yes. Sambasiyam, sir. Yep. Uh, yes, yes. Sir, uh, uh, one small suggestion. Yeah. Uh, you have done. Uh, analysis of 312 charts of people who had marital issues but you already have done another 100 plus charts where the couples lived happily yeah 60 charts so, 30 couples yeah 60, 60 charts. charts yeah so if you do a paired comparison between these two then you can revalidate whether the conclusions are right because i say i, I have i have said yes okay. i have said in my presentation now maybe uh, you were there right from the beginning right Yes. I no, said. You know, I'm, you know, yeah, you I'm, said sorry, that. Sorry, yes. sorry. Before you ask, see, suppose yeah. in the spouse chart, or one of the spouses chart, the seventh house astrologer is low. It is compensated by the very good score by the uh, spouse, other spouse. Correct. So this is one factor. Huh. Similarly, for all other factors, have we also validated if that is the case? Because huh. we well, also well, talked well, about well, so many I other did, factors. I, I, well. I didn't analyze because. Then it will be a very cumbersome. Already, I have taken three years, so I didn't want to actually add more number of parameters uh, with the sixty charts married couple, because okay. what I concluded with the three hundred and twelve charts, the major contributing factors, the top ten parameters I have taken to find out to validate with the married couple chart. Okay. Okay. That's it. okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you, Sambasan sir. We are eagerly waiting for those uh, ten parameters to know from Dr. Ramki Murugan at the earliest. Once after submission. Sure, sure. Already I said I can give it to them. Afterwards, I definitely share. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, Thank you very much for this nice class. Dr. Ramki Murugan, you presented very nicely, very interesting. See anything? Someone should instigate this. That is that they have done it. Again, it's a good class. And uh, once again, thank you very much for all the attendees. Yes.
no my yes my part is over now over to srinivasan sir no sir we are come to thank you sir no problem it's very i think uh, really it's a very good session in this our uh, english session um, so after that later on after uh, uh, we pray god for ram ki sir must be awarded uh so after that once again we conduct a one detailed sure. version class uh session in <coughs> english and yeah i can in... present the entire ppt no problem yes and also in tamil and also we contest one uh, direct session in star academy office also it's my kind sure. request okay uh, it's a pattern of analysis is very useful to our astrological people so that's it okay anyhow a very good session thank you thank you so much thanks for everyone who had come out thanks mr shivasan thank you mr balu thank you thank you ramkishan thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Our, thank you. today class host velacheri balu sir and also all participants especially shri venugopal sir and all other ramasubramanian sir all of, thank you very much we will meet again in this english session next fortnight okay thank you very much okay. thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. thanks a lot thank you thank you sir thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you